I like how I'm acting like it's early morning and it's literally about to be like 11 a.m. So it's pretty much the afternoon. Got a little bit of a later start to the day, but I'm feeling good. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing today. The afternoon run, see if it can't produce anything. Mm. Ooh, that was hot. <laughs> Cappuccino blend though. First impression is uh, it's pretty good. We made it. Made it to our fishing. Looking clean, looking clean. Got all that stuff in. Bait's ready. Poles ready. Ready to catch some fish. A lot of stuff in here. You're gonna need to upgrade your net. Yeah. Put a striper net. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Justin, and uh, we're putting in the work on the big baits. What are you throwing? 250, depth's 250. Depth's 250? Yeah. Well, this is what I'm going to be fishing. These are the Dio Alexis. Bought two of them. Got Dio rods. Brought a little pole in case we found some big trout. And an old 13 fishing with a line through Savage gear. Um, I'm gonna be fishing around a few different swim baits. I like throwing these cheap baits because I break a lot of them on rocks. So this was just a little cheap Savage gear. You can upgrade to something a little more expensive like that depths if you're, you want to get jiggy with it and spend a pretty penny, but these work. I got more expensive ones with me, but like I said, I don't feel like breaking a $250 bait right now. <laughs> this place is a grind, guys. If any of you guys recognize what this is, don't think you're just gonna come out and catch one every time. I'll <laughs> tell you what. Do you know that cat video I took? Yeah. That was at 33 minutes. I've called in a few cats at 18. I've called in a few. I called one in at like 34, 33, 34 uh -huh. minutes. I've called in a few. What garment are these? I always forget. <laughs> I get all into it when I buy them, and then you kind of just forget the name, you know. I got that one bigger for the resolution for the light scope. Wonder how good eating those comrades are. <laughs> I believe they are, they just eat trout out here, that's it. They couldn't have a better tasting. I almost wonder if seagulls are getting cute because all they eat is fish out there and like crabs. You can't see seagulls ever. Yeah, that's I can't see them being like a bad eating bird. Anything that eats fish is going to be good. Yeah, yeah. Like, you 
in the middle of the <laughs> He came back for the second time and just missed it. That felt like a good fish. Yeah. Well, I catch him here like five, six times. I'm not sure I caught that fucking fish. And then I caught it. The GoPro sideways, I gotta straighten it. Point it at me a little bit. Do you film on my camera or just yeah? Uh, if you want. I mean my camera's already set up right there. Oh there you come. Is he? He's alright. So ten pounder, he looks like a double nut. Eight pounder so. Let's go, baby. It's double. It's Thirteen. Awesome. Heck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! That's a good little guy right there. I know. I gotta get my 250 and I backlash. Right, go, go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, good looking fisher fish. Yeah, heck yeah! <laughs> That's a fat little fish. You push constantly on the trolling motors and the tables. Look at that, guys. <laughs> This is pretty tight right here. It's pretty cool. It's been a while. Look at that, guys. We're gonna weigh him really quick and then let this fish go. What a catch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna dump well, him real quick. Oh my God. Getting some water on him. Oh. Ain't getting nowhere. I broke every rod I own. <laughs> oh, I got a scale if you wanna use it. It's right there. It's oh, <laughs> like my jump pile. <laughs> Caught a monster. Let's see. It's been a while since I've been out here trying to do this. So, on my scale, he's 11, 7, 7. So, double digit. First double digit of the year. I actually caught this guy in a savage gear, just a little cheap swim bait, but. Man, I wouldn't doubt if he's got a couple trout in there. He's got a good little gut on him. It's a solid fish right there. Feels great. Put up a good little fight. Uh, Justin actually got a bite two casts before I hooked up this one. So we're going to loop back around. There might be a little school right there, but this guy's definitely going back. You ready? All right, I'm going to see if he's ready to go. Should be, huh? Try to shoot him downward. Oh! <laughs> awesome work, man. Oh, yeah. First one of the year. <laughs> well, I hope we got it on camera with this GoPro. I'm pretty sure it did. I haven't caught many, many fish on a swim bait, but it's one of those things that when you do get bit, it's just gives you a good little rush, you know. dark right now but that's the end of the day <laughs> ended up with a nice nice striper Ooh, that lights bright but ended up with a nice striper um ended up weighing 11 pounds so that was actually pretty exciting this was just an awesome little afternoon run we only fished for probably i want to say three hours maybe four hours just a quick afternoon run and it paid off we almost had a double hookup which would have been absolutely crazy on that gopro but ended up working out well the day ends off where it started huh i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video filmed it a little bit different than normal it was just a nice easy kind of out of the blue fishing trip just half day maybe fish three four hours for the afternoon managed to get a nice fishing so those big those big swim bait bites man you hunt for them for a little while and when it finally happens it's it's a lot of fun if you're gonna go ahead and fish for big with big swim baits like that you gotta recognize that you got to put in some time. That's like three days already that I went out and finally caught one. The bite's been tough, but literally three days of casting that thing around and finally, you know, punched one. So um, that was pretty exciting, to be honest. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We just got the boat put up, and uh, we'll be out there doing some more. We'll be casting some more big swim baits, chasing after some more big stripers, 
big bass. I'm actually going to Clear Lake in April. And then also, I think I'm going to Colorado for some like fly fishing stuff. So that stuff's going to be exciting. But um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you liked the style and the way I edited it. I was trying to show more of just like the in-between processes of what we do and stuff. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.